Are you serious? Are you serious? And I'm very serious about this. What? You have come to a great broadcast today. My good friend Colin Plume is with us from Noble Gold Investments, and it's raining gold. Literally, gold, diamonds, platinum falling out of the sky in Siberia, in Russia. It's an unbelievable story as gold is falling from the sky. Are you serious, Colin? Is this, does, did this really happen? It, it's been reported by uh, multiple organizations. Um, it, 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 it almost seems uh, out of a uh, comedic movie, um, the way that basically it happened, that the plane takes off with hundreds of millions of dollars in gold, platinum, uh, gems, and however they pack the plane, whether they did it intentionally or unintentionally, we'll, I guess we'll find out. Um, but basically, as the plane takes off, the, the, the gold is too heavy. It slides to the back and out, out the door it goes and, and hundreds of millions of dollars in, in uh, value is, is sitting in, uh, across a, a pretty wide uh, area. Uh, in Siberia, and uh, so it's um, one of those things that obviously uh, I wish I was there. You, we were talking about it before, joking. We wish we were there, uh, you know, with with our metal detectors. Um, but yeah, it's it's real. It's it's been reported. I, I'm sure, uh, you know, Russia is not you know happy about this because obviously it's a big folly, and and you know they don't like to be laughed at. But it's it it definitely happened. Well, here's. <laughs> Okay, we're showing pictures of the plane. Uh, we're showing folks, as you've been seeing, uh, the, the runway, gold bars littering the runway. But as this thing took off, like you said, Colin, it couldn't land for another 26 kilometers because mm -hmm. it got in the air and then it had to go 26 kilometers before it could land at another uh, runway. Right. And the whole time it's littering the Siberian woods with gold and platinum and diamonds. Yeah. 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 It's, it's an unbelievable story. And, and especially just to think something that's so valuable, um, that could just be so, um, careless, um, that it could just fly out like this. And, and Russia just did a huge buy of gold last month. We talked about it, uh, a, a few weeks ago, they just bought, I think 18 tons of gold. I mean, they, they just have gold coming out of everywhere. I mean, literally. I mean, they just have so much that that they're losing it out out of the back of planes. I mean, it's 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 a pretty amazing uh, story that this that this happened, and uh, I'm sure that you know they detained the pilot and a few other people that packed the plane, and uh, and uh, I'm sure they'll, they're they're going to get to the bottom of this. I, it, it seems that it, it's unlikely that this error could have just been a, a mistake. There's there's got to be more checks and balances in place. You would think. Well, you know, and I'm thinking, who gets poisoned from this? I mean, uh, in, in Russia, they will poison people for a whole lot less. Yeah, um, yeah. And and I would, I would be careful, you know, drinking your your tea if you're uh, if you're in detainment there. I'd be I would be a little bit nervous. Yeah, um, most definitely. And oh, by the way, this comes on the heels, folks, of sanctions. The United States just put sanctions this morning on Russia. Yeah. Uh, from the election meddling and maybe this poisoning thing that happened in the UK. Uh, so, you know, Putin's not having a good day today. This was yeah. his, this is government gold, right? It was Russian government gold. Yeah, it was a section of the government. Yeah, it was, it was it's their gold. Um, obviously, they were, they're transporting it, um, you know, by plane, which, you know, I, I don't know. I Typically, when gold is moved within a country, it's done by train, but um, for this reason, but I, you know, it's, 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 it is a little shocking to see that. And it's, it's shocking, you know, being there, I'm sure it's spread out over such a large, large area. Um, who knows how long it'll take them to find it all. It, it you know, it it could be, uh, could be years. Uh, folks, we got Colin uh, Plume with us from, uh, noblegoldinvestments.com. And, uh, you know, here's a good, let me just say this. It's good to know well, first of all, Colin, if we were in Siberia and were to have caught one of those 32-pound gold bars, at today's price, that would be $677,000. Um, you know, it, 
uh, that would be pretty important. I would think there'd be a lot of Russians scouring the woods and, and, and treading through the snow, like you said, with metal detectors. But here's some good news. You guys don't store the gold uh, in Russia, do you? I mean, you keep it in Texas. <laughs> no, no. We, we, uh, we, we're very careful where we store metals. Uh, we have a few different locations. Um, I would say the one that most people like is in Texas. Obviously, uh, Texas is a state where people, um, you know, it's a, it's a state where they protect their own. Uh, they believe in in uh, people's privacy, and so that's that's our biggest depository is in the state of Texas. We're actually the first company. Interestingly enough, there's been a lot of talk about storage in, in Texas. We're the first company to offer IRA storage in Texas. Um, they've been building a depository there. They've set aside funds for it, but we were the first ones to open a, a depository there. It's a private depository, and obviously our clients jumped at the chance to to be able to hold their metals there. Uh, it's all segregated, so everybody has their own shelf, their own serial number, and we do a number of things that are unique. Um, when the metals arrive, obviously they're inspected and verified, but we have the metals. Uh, they take a photo of the metals. We send it to the client, uh, so they get an actual proof of the metals they purchased in their IRA. And funny enough, we're the only company in the industry that offers that. I don't know why other people don't do that, um, you know, because I think if you can't see it, it you, you know, it's hard to know that it's there. So uh, in, in terms of uh, storage, uh, we're not storing in Russia. Uh, I don't think we're going to be storing there anytime soon. And we're, we're focused here in the United States. Uh, speaking of the situation developing, you know, the stock market uh, seems to be on this roller coaster ride. Uh, it seems like we're up, we're down, and it's almost like it's following the news. If if there's good news, there's two or three hundred, four hundred points. It goes up. If there's bad news, it drops three or four hundred points. Um, gold. I've noticed though since the last time you were here about a month ago, price of gold is almost identical. Uh, it's pretty steady. It's pretty solid. It, it, gold's not emotional. I, I, I mean, the precious metals that you guys are, when you talk about the people diversifying, uh, uh, that's the reason you are is because it's not emotional. It doesn't waver with the uh, weather or with the news, does it? It, it? You know, one of my favorite clients that has been acquiring from us for, for well over a decade is, and he buys every quarter, and he, he just says, you know, I look at the news, I look at my portfolio and I say, if things are getting better, um, I'm, you know, I can be a little riskier. But the way the news is, the way the economy is, I want to get some, and he calls it gold insurance. So, the way that he buys it is, he's not looking to make 25% year over year. But if he can keep up or, or outpace inflation, gold uh, from last year to now is up about 12%. You know, if he can get those kind of gains year in and year out, he's happy. Um, he knows it's safe. He knows he owns it. It's, you know, it's one of the few investments you own by yourself. See, that one of the things that people like about gold with us is that it's not an ETF. It's not a fund. You, you own it or silver or platinum, platinum. They're, they're yours. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, like an Enron situation or a situation where a company is not doing what they should because all the metal is owned by you. So it, it's really like buying insurance. And, and a lot of people, that's why they, they continue to, to load up. Uh, especially right now, and I was just looking at silver. Uh, you know, the silver to gold ratio. Uh, if you go, if you take out the last ten years of trading, typically gold to silver, silver to gold trade at about sixteen or eighteen to one ratio. Uh, right now, uh, we're at an eighty-three to one ratio. So, silver is is highly undervalued right now. Um, so, it, you know, it costs eighty-three ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold is what I'm trying to say. Right. And um, and that that value is way off. You go back to the eighties and nineties. You know, you're at sixteen to one, eighteen to one. Um, so if that that ratio were to shrink, even if it were to go back to forty to one, um, silver would would go on a big run, and that would be a big gain. So there, there's a lot of opportunities right now in the metals uh, markets. And you know that's a great point that it used to run around sixteen to one ratio. To think that it's eighty three to one, that would almost guarantee that there's going to be an increase in the price of silver. That there's going to be a run. At some point, silver is going to you know. Uh, just take off. And I think if people are looking at potentially precious metals for investment, 
you're probably better off to right now buy low and, and let it and sell high. I would think that you would go with silver. I mean, no doubt if, if uh, let's say someone's watching right now, folks, and you've got, you know, uh, X amount of dollars in your 401k, or maybe you've got X amount of dollars in your bank account and you're thinking, hey, maybe I ought to take 20% of that and just go ahead and buy it in silver. The thing to do is get a hold of Colin. Call him. You know, the number, uh, you can call him at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. You can see it right there on the screen. And call him at noblegoldinvestments.com and let him walk you through. And, and Colin, you can do that. You can help people make it easy, can't you? Absolutely, yeah. We um, Whether they're doing an IRA or they have an old 401k that they're looking to protect or get out of the stock market, we can obviously do that. And a lot of people that have watched your show, we've talked about it and they've been able to do it with us and see how easy it is. Um, you know, we do all the paperwork. It's all online. We streamline it and make it, you know, smooth and easy for them to, to get out of equities if that's what they're looking to do. Um, but really, you know, asset preservation, protection um, is what people are concerned about right now. They see the stock market. They, they're they nervous about it. They don't know what to do. And so this is an option for them. Um, you don't have to keep all your eggs in one basket. You can diversify uh, into some tangible metals. And that's, you know, that's really what we do. And, you know, listen, if the economy continues to go up, great. Um, that's good. You're, you know, you have this metal, you're protected. But it seems like every day something's happening. I mean, Toys R Us just came out. Um, you know, they're going to be closing all their stores in the next 30 days. Um, so if anybody, if you have a Toys R Us or Baby R Us um, calling card, uh, not calling card, if you have a, a gift card, you, you got about 30 days to use it. Um, but they're shutting down all their stores. Um, they're going to be closing. Over 30,000 employees are going to be left without jobs. Um, so there, there's a lot of big corporations that are still having problems. And, um, you know, all those people are going to have to find new jobs. Um, they're going to need, you know, place to find home, and and will there be jobs for them when when those stores shut down? I don't know, but um, you know, the economy. I think there's there's some indicators there that things could be turning in in a, in a different direction. You know, you bring this up, and I'm wondering if uh, of Toys R Us because they would seem to me like they're a successful uh, a company. It, it, it always would seem that way to me. You know, the grandkids always want to go to Toys R Us. Um, yeah. But then again, maybe they're, I don't know if they're diversifying it to the point they're just going to go online. Is, is there just going to be an online delivery type deal? Or are they just selling out, walking away, padlocking the door and just and, and saying, that's it, we're done? Because a, a lot of your manufacturers now are just direct through online, aren't they? Yeah. Big, big box retailers like Toys R Us. I mean, when you go in there, it's a huge store. Babies R Us, huge store. You know, a lot of those are going away, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, that's going to have a trickle down effect on um, just retail and shopping centers and real estate in general. More of those stores that that people don't need or they're not using anymore, they're going to have to shut those down. And we're going to start to see some vacancy uh, start to happen in some of these shopping centers. But yeah, I think today, you know, it's just the way the world people um, can just click in the mouse or on their phone, they can go to Amazon or different places and buy um, buy those goods. And, and that's where they're preferring to do it. And really, Toys R Us just never adapted to the the new economy and you know they should have been focused more on delivery and different items but um but yeah they uh, they're unfortunately they're shutting down that's gonna that's gonna hurt a lot of you know main street america unfortunately uh folks again global you go to noble gold investments noblegoldinvestments.com Call them on the phone if you want to at 877-646-5347. You can ask for Colin. Uh, look, there, there's folks that are there to help you, and they can make it easy. You don't know what to do. You're trying to diversify maybe with your 401K or your IRA or maybe an inheritance. And some folks, you know, I, I hear from people all the time say, you know, they're, they're in a, unfortunately in a situation where they got to uh, settle in the state with their parents or what have you, and they don't know really where to go with what, what to do. And yeah. uh, you guys are the guys to call, isn't that right, Colin? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've had a lot of people that have uh, received, uh, you know, windfalls and put a portion of that into metals and, you know, the rest they, they pay off, you know, debt or whatever they have, um, but they don't, they don't want to keep it in a bank account because, 
obviously the bank accounts don't pay anything. Um, they're concerned about having it in the bank, so they want something tangible. So, yeah, we've helped out a number of uh, trusts, a number of people that, you know, there's four or five siblings that inherited uh, a lot of money, and they just they wanted to just get something physical, um, and so we've been able to to assist them. Also, uh, Pastor Paul, we talked a little bit about we have our new ebook. Um, a lot of people uh, saw our first ebook, which talked about inflation, which came out last year. We have our second ebook, um, which talks about the the government debt that was brought out in February. And if you look at the government debt, um, the number is is higher than what people realize. Um, the actual debt of our country, if you take out all the tax revenue, consumer revenue, uh, we're above $100 trillion U.S. debt. And that's, that's reported by the U.S. government. Uh, that's not wow. just numbers that we came up with. We have uh, John Williams, who's an economist from Dartmouth, who went, read through the a report from the government in February. And so, you know, when you see $100 trillion in debt, and you think of all these countries that we owe money to, eventually there has to be a, a correction and there has to be a, a point where all these countries that are loaning us money are just going to say, that's it, we're, we're done. Um, you know, uh, the credit card is, is, is tapped out and you have to start repaying it and you can't just continue to print money because that's the only reason we've been able to build up this debt is just we print money, which increases inflation. And, and you know, we've been fine and we've been able to survive that way. But eventually, um, you know, it's going to have to stop. And, and when the train stops, uh, you know, you just have to determine where you're going to be and where your assets are, um, because I think if you're sitting in the dollar heavily, you're going to be pretty disappointed. Folks, there it is again. Brock's showing it to you on the screen again. Government Lies Exposed, Part 2. Uh, U.S. debt tops $100 trillion. You know, they, uh, Colin, but the media or the, uh, keep telling us that the, the national debt is $21 trillion, which is scary enough. But you're saying, no, 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 no. There's government reports, government information. It really proves $100, $107 trillion. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, there's really in, in the ebook, it breaks down the numbers, talks about what we generate as a country. Uh, 107 trillion is uh, we would have to increase our GDP and growth by six times from what it is currently, which is not going to happen. So there, there's really no way out of it. So there's only a few ways to get out of it is uh, cut Medicare, Medicaid, um, um, print more money. And then the last way would be to declare bankruptcy. Uh, you know, there's really those are the only options to get out of that debt. There's no there's no uh, plan to repay it. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know when when things are going to hit the fan, so to speak. But that those numbers are real. And, uh, you know, I think that, you know, when you see the equity markets just roaring the way the way they are, people are forgetting about all this debt the country has. Um, it, it's not connecting. The dots are not connecting, in my opinion. So, and you know, the government and the exposure, health care, I mean, I, I would think that part of that number is the exposure that the country has with its with health care. I mean, health care is so out of control. It's so far gone. You know, the deductibles. So, okay, it's going up and your deductibles going up. How are people going to be able to keep? Yeah, it's a double whammy, unfortunately. Yeah, no, my wife's deductible. I think it was around 2000 and then in her most recent renewal with her company, I think it was close to 5500 um, and the premium went up, which, I mean, it's, it's scary. I mean, it's scary to think about, you know, where if you have, you know, something really bad and, you, you know, you hit that deductible, you're coming out of pocket $5,500 plus her premium was up 20 or 25%. So... It's, uh, you know, those things aren't going to change uh, anytime soon. And, uh, you know, I think the reality of what's really happening in this country, you know, you have people like Ron Paul that have been talking about it for so long that we need to get this debt under control and we need to, you know, stop printing money the way that we are. Um, but just, you know, unfortunately, no one's listening. And that's that's the thing that's that, that I think is going to hurt the average American uh, in the future. Yeah, uh, and, and here's something else to think about, Colin, is we have the debt, you have the high debt. Yes, there was a tax. Uh, we have these new taxes, but they don't kick in. You know, you're not going to see them until the, you got to get the whole year in before you see that, really. Um, 
Healthcare's not been fixed. That's not been addressed. It's been they're fighting about it on Congress, but uh, nothing's ever got to the table. And so, yes, there's some serious issues. The housing potential bubble is lingering out there. We got to be watching that. So there's some things you have to watch for, folks. That uh, you have to keep your f- feet on, and that affects the stock market. And matter of fact, there's reports out there, Colin, that the stock market over the next five years may have to still do a correction of as much as 25% or maybe higher. Well, the, the, the co-president of JP Morgan came out three days ago and he said that we're going to see as much as a 40% reduction in the stock market in the next few years. Whoa. I mean, he said it and that's through JP Morgan. Um, and it's interesting in, in the quotes, he said that we have to be protected. And I, I found it interesting that he was saying we, and I'm thinking to myself, you, the co-president of J.P. Morgan, you're you're not the person that isn't going to be in trouble. It's the average person that has a 401k that if it drops 40 percent and they retire the next year, they're not their retirement plan is going to be screwed up because they're not going to be able to live on the money that they thought that they had. And it was interesting that he was saying that it was it was him that ha- they have to be protected. J.P. Morgan has to be protected. And and I found that kind of funny that he said that, but. But yeah, he came out and said that there's going to be a correction and it's going to be a deep correction. He said it's going to happen in the next few years. And obviously, um, if he's saying that, then uh, and and he has every incentive not to say that because J.P. Morgan wants you to invest in, you know, mutual funds and stocks and bonds and everything that they're offering and all the derivatives. Um, so if he's saying it, obviously he's he's concerned about it. And so, um, you know, I found it interesting that 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 him being the president came out and and, and had that sentiment about the economy. Folks, and I'll tell you something, this, and this is another reason that, folks, you have to put your trust in the Lord. And you have to understand that in a volatile world, you have to have confidence and have faith in, your, in the Lord and, and trust the Lord. And the Bible says that uh, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So sometimes we don't know which way to turn or exactly where, which way to, uh, where should we do with the, our future, our retirement, our 401k or whatever else that you may have going on in your life your inheritance, what do you do with it? So it's good to pray, to seek the Lord's face, and then to diversify. There's no doubt about it. You don't put all your eggs in one basket. So there you go. You go to noblegoldinvestments.com, noblegoldinvestments.com. Just go to their website, check it out. It's very easy. It shows you a lot of different options for you. Or call the number, 877 646 Five three four seven, and Colin, I can tell you, we've been hearing from people who uh, who have been wanting to know how to get a hold of you guys. They see our uh, uh, interviews with you; they're very uh, impressed with it, and they're thinking maybe they should. A lot of folks, Colin, have never considered precious metals. They're rethinking this now. Yeah. No, absolutely, and and you know our phone lines are open twenty four hours. So. If someone's watching this video at any time and they call in and they leave, they obviously we're not always open, but there's someone always to answer the phone. Uh, they'll take a message and someone can call you back the next day and answer questions. Or if you call in and you, and you want the free guide, um, we'll get the free guide out to you. So, you know, anyone that has those questions, feel free to give us a call. And, and I always feel like being educated is, is important. So getting this guide about the, the U.S. debt is important. We have our gold and silver guide. We have a sil- just a silver guide that talks about the price of silver and how it's undervalued and why. So we got a lot of good information for people to uh, to contact us. And, um, you know, it's no pressure. You know, our, our whole staff is here to just be available. And, you know, ultimately everyone's going to make their own financial decisions. But if we can offer some help and some tutelage, we're, we're going to do that. And, um, yeah, we're, we're happy to help anyone. Obviously, Pastor Paul, anyone that comes through mentions you, we'll give them any kind of discount that we have available and love to uh, love to help them out. And, you know, I, that's what I like about you guys. You're so uh, credible. You are very friendly. You're, you help the people. You're not, you know, you're not just saying, here's what you should do. Throw everything in precious metals. I mean, you guys are really looking at people's portfolio. You're looking at their picture, their life cycle, uh, yep. where they're at in life. And you're saying, you know what? In your case, I think this might be the smart move, the, the best way to approach this. And I tell you, our, our folks, our listeners, our viewers, they love that honesty that Noble Gold Investments brings. We really do. Uh, you, you held up a piece of silver just a little bit ago. Why, why don't you show that again? What, what is yeah, that? It's a, a five-ounce um, silver American beautiful coin. Uh, it's a limited-release coin from the U.S. Mint. 
And uh, we have this at a discount. We have it at about a 20% discount from the U.S. Mint price. Um, great coin, IRA approved, or you can get it uh, sent to your home. And um, they only make, each series, they only make about 20 to 25,000 of them. So uh, it definitely is a, a coin that people are going to want in the future. Um, and yeah, we have that coin at, at a great discount right now. A lot of people are, are buying those. And, uh, and so, yeah, if anybody has questions, they can call in and, and that's something that we can offer, uh, to anybody that's listening, but it's a, it's a great investment. I, my wife and I bought a, a number of them. We like them and, um, very beautiful coins. Now, again, your book, exposing the government lies, Brock, I'll put that back up there again. How can people get it? It's an ebook. How can they get their hands on that? Yeah, they can call in um, the 877 number. They call in, they ask for it. Uh, the representative will send them the ebook. It's a PDF. And any of the other ebooks that we have, they'd be happy. They're all free. Um, so we'd be happy to send them all out so you can uh, to do it, uh, look at it, and review it. And we've also, you know, this book is written by economists. We've also, uh, you know, Charles and I have gone through and, and sort of made it simpler and easier to understand so people can really understand the numbers and for someone that's not an economist we can read it and understand it um, but we wanted to have an expert someone that's been looking at government uh, statistics for 40 years review it so it's legitimate and people can see that when they review that document um, but yeah if they call in they can we'll email them any of the the ebooks that they have uh, that we have available and they can review them and i think all the information is is really streamlined and and I think people will be shocked uh, when they read this this newest ebook. It's free, folks. Just like that gold, it fell out of the sky in Russia. I mean, it just it's just falling. Okay, it's free falling. Okay, yeah. Colin. I mean, we're gonna, it's... we're gonna get on a plane after this, right? Pash exactly. Plane, we're, uh, we're out. We're gonna get out there with our metal detectors and. Uh... <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, just start looking for gold. I mean, instead, why go to California or some other place to look for gold? Yeah. Just go to Russia and yeah. uh, get the metal detector out. Hang out in the Siberian snow and you never know I mean uh, yeah. I mean it is gonna be uh, again they're Brock showing the pictures again how in the world is uh, 378 million dollars worth of gold and diamonds and platinum fall out of the back of a plane I mean this is something like you said from the movies I mean uh, yeah. you know uh, naked gun or something I mean this stuff <laughs> just don't happen <laughs> Oh man, amazing, amazing story. I, I love to, you know, and you hear these stories, um, you know, not only this story, but you hear stories of people finding, you know, hordes of gold in different places, um, you know, here in the U.S. and different places. But it, it's 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 shocking, it, it, and the interesting, it's shocking how you can move that much wealth um, in a plane. You know, to move, you know, four hundred million dollars uh, to one location or another. A lot of people like gold because it's. You know, you could put a million dollars of gold in a shoebox and, you know, take it wherever you want. And, and people like that, that privacy uh, of gold. Uh, obviously, a million dollars in silver is going to be, it's, you're not going to put it in a shoebox. But for gold, you legitimately could do that. Um, and it's easy to transport. So a lot of people like that uh, usability of gold. Obviously, it's, they've been trading gold for 5,000 years because it's, it's the perfect uh, trading instrument because, an ounce of gold here, or an ounce of gold in New York, or, or Tennessee, or anywhere, it's all worth the same thing. So it's it's really a great great way to trade and barter. And so a lot of people will buy it just in that situation, if ever go back to a trading and bartering situation, that they have something liquid. Um, so if people aren't taking the dollar, or if there's any kind of chaos, they have something that, that has, you know, it's easy to identify the value of it. And so, um, you know, that's another reason why people buy precious metals. You know, there is talk and there is conversation, and President Trump actually uh, likes the idea of going back to a gold standard for the dollar bill. And uh, if he ever does, what would that do? I mean, does that, does that help raise the price of gold, you think? I mean, does gold become more, more, more uh, need for it? I don't understand, uh, really, if they go back to a if gold every standard. If dollar was backed by gold, gold would be worth $50,000 an ounce. Because if you just look at how many dollars out there and you do the math, it would be in the fifty thousand dollar range in terms of value an ounce. So wow, you you would be uh, 
everyone that owns gold and silver would fall soon. I mean, it's not like just gold would go up. They both would go up. So no, I, I mean, everybody, the, the value would, would absolutely skyrocket. It would just be, um, it would be a great, great day for anyone holding, holding the metal. And, you know, people would be, uh, going back out to Siberia with their metal detectors and, and looking for the rest of that gold that, that fell off that plane. It would, it would, it would send shockwaves to the market. Yeah, people would be panning for gold again in California if it goes to $50,000. But, you know, that's a, a great point that the discussion of going back to a gold standard is actually being discussed. And for the people who actually, old, actually own gold, it could be uh, an incredible windfall if that decision was ever made. You never know. You never know. Yeah. You don't. Right. Reagan, Ronald Reagan wanted to go back on the gold standard, but his, his aides talked him out of it. There's, there's numbers of, you know, they have all the tapes of them discussing different things in their cabinet, and he brought it up multiple times, um, and they just, they continue to talk him out of it. So um, he wouldn't be the first president that, that since Nixon that wanted to do it. Um, and, you know, Trump is, he's, he's someone that, when he believes in something and he has an idea behind him, um, he, he doesn't really care what anybody else thinks. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. There you go, folks. That might just be a little bit of incentive to maybe give Colin a call. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com, noblegoldinvestments.com. Great guys, a Christian company, and, you know, they, they, uh, they're supporters of our ministry. And I just tell you something. You can trust them. You can talk to them. They'll help you through your needs, where it is you are in your life cycle. So go to noblegoldinvestments.com or give them a call. Again, 877-646-5347. Um, what can I say? Colin, great story about the gold fall now. I don't know how you're going to top that next next time we get together. But I don't know. That, that was a good one. But it, it's always fun. And uh, looking forward to talking to you again soon. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And as always, we always support free speech. Uh, we always support, you know, we've seen a lot of channels on YouTube that have gotten banned, and we're obviously in support of, of you and, and being able to uh, to get the word out. And we'll, we'll continue to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, folks, great, great program today, and I'll see you again next time right here on The Coming Apocalypse.